In this lesson, we will talk about test hooks, such as before all, before each, and after all, and after each. Test hooks are very useful when you need to organize your code and, for example, remove duplications, putting some of the repetitive code into the before each hook, and so on. So, in this lesson, I will show you how to use them. Let's get into it. So, let's imagine the situation that we need to automate uh, the flow to navigate to the date picker page. So, how to do that? Uh, we would normally just create a new test. Let me copy the previous one. Uh, we navigate to our application, then to the forms, and instead of the form layouts, we would select date picker page. And let me change the name. Navigate to date picker page. So in, if I run this test, it works successfully. So we successfully navigated to the date picker page. But there is a certain issue, right? We have a duplication of the code. So two lines of code in two of the tests are the same. They are kind of repeating situation. So for the repetitive situations like that, you can use a hooks. And uh, one of the hook that can be used called before each. So we type test before each and code that we will put into this hook will be executed for every test. So a sync. All right, now it looks correct. So I'm copying two lines of code from this test. And I need to remove two lines of code from this test. So with this change, we effectively optimized the code and removed duplication. Also, there are a few other hooks available for you. Uh, for example, if you want to execute some code that you would want to run before all tests, there is also a hook available called before all. So the same way, you just provide the body of the function and inside of this before all hook you put a certain code that you want to run before all tests like a general precondition before the execution of your test suite this is used not really often maybe sometimes to see the database and there are a few after hooks also available for you it is test after all and after each uh, the behavior is pretty much the same. If there is any code that you want to run after every single test, you create after each hook and put your code over there. Or big general after all hook that, for example, you want to delete a test data from the database after your test run. You can put such code into after all hook. But try to avoid using of after each and after all hooks in your test. This is considered a not a good practice and sometimes can result in flakiness of the test. If some of the code uh, from after each or after all hook you can relocate into the before each, like a control state before running of the test, for example, cleaning the data or creating the data, better to put this code over there. This will improve stability of your test and performance. And of course, you can use a different before each hook for different test suites using test describe. As I showed in the previous lesson, for example, if I show test describe and suite one, and I put before each right here, with two of these tests. And let's assume here we need to navigate now to the forms page. We need to navigate to some uh, different page of our application. Let's say to charts page, right? Charts page, just an assumption. And let's say we create a suite number two that would navigate to the forms page. This will be a forms page. And what we can do, we can keep a higher level before each that will be executed for every single test in this test file as just navigate to the local host. And then as a part of the test suite, we can remove this local host from here and local host from here. Okay, it's complaining because we have the 
same names of the test. Let me give some dummy names so it would not complain. And now look what's going to happen right now. So we created a structure when we have main before each hook that will be executed before every single test. Let me remove this for the clarity. We created main before each hook that will be executed for every single test. And we created two test describes, test suite, in each of this test describe have own before each hook. And this before each hook will be executed for these two tests. And this before hook will be executed only for these two tests. While this one will be executed for every test that we put over here. This is how it works. So you can group your test, combine your test, and use these hooks however you want to optimize the code flow and execution. And in the previous lesson, I showed you how you can skip your test or run certain tests. This trigger also applied to the describe block as well. So for example, if you want to skip this test suite, you can apply test describe skip. Or if you want to run only this test suite, you can put test describe only. This will work as well. So if you mark it like that, then all this section, including two tests and before each, will be executed and this one will not. That's it, guys. And quickly summarize what we did in this lesson. So Playwright has four hooks that you can use. Before each, after each, before all, and after all. Before each hook will be executed for every test in the test suite or test scenario. Before all will be executed just once per entire test file where you declared it. After all and after each will work the same way, either executed after each scenario or after all scenarios. When you group your test by the test suites using describe, you can skip them independently or run them independently. And each scope for the before each hook inside of the describe will work only for that particular describe or the test suite. All right, that's it, guys, and see you in the next lesson.